Hello, my name is Philip Blank. I grew up in Shorewood, Wisconsin. Thank you for being here with us today, Phil. Uh, I know that you're a retired Lieutenant Colonel Meteorologist in the Air Force, that you received the Fulbright Award teaching math in Turkey, and that you were a counselor for international students at the Milwaukee Technical uh, Area Technical College, uh, that you helped found. You were the president of the local American Federation of Teachers, that you were the president of the Milwaukee Public Enterprise Committee, and that you founded the Frank Seidler Memorial Lecture Committee. I unexpectedly became interested in travel and the world when I had a trip between sophomore and junior year in college. And uh, through meteorology, I was on the Greenland ice cap, and that's another whole story. But uh, I really got interested through seminars as a result of my Air National Guard experiences. Interested in what was going on in the climate, right? Absolutely. Uh huh. And then you became married to B. She greatly expanded my activism. She took an early retirement and hit the ground running. I couldn't keep up with her. <laughs> well, you sure have these days, Phil. And how did you meet Frank Seidler? I know you're a huge fan. I was our former mayor, Milwaukee mayor. I was a vice president of what was then the Wisconsin Federation of Teachers. I had to give a, a program, and I told the president I wanted to cover the challenge of cybernation to education. I had no idea who could do it. He referred me to Frank, and the rest is history. Frank became a dear friend and mentor to me. So, Phil, was there somebody in your past who inspired you to be an activist? Well, my single mother brought me up very strictly, and I learned the work ethic. And not later than the 40s, she was an advocate for equal pay, for equal work, even though she was anti-union. And my late wife, I have to add her. Okay. And what are your main concerns as an activist? I'm concerned about the future of the planet as a retired Air Force meteorologist, society, and politically or with religious zealotry we could be brought down even before the planet goes. Wow, and, and Phil, how do you feel about the United Nations? It's absolutely essential. I believe if it had not been for the United Nations, there might be no we now. Wow. And do you find this work personally rewarding? It's what keeps me going. Okay. And uh, do you have any words of advice for those who will come after us? Absolutely. With many mentors, I was able to take advantage of things that I never, ever expected to even consider. But I believe that those who follow should take whatever opportunities they have because they may never know otherwise. Okay, and I understand you also like situations where there aren't any winners or losers. Absolutely, a zero-sum society is just not viable. Okay, and do you have any hope for the future? I have to. That's really what keeps me going. <laughs>